Saturday, April 6th. It's about 11.30. I've got the boat behind us. I'm going to the river and go put in. Then I'm gonna drive up and then I'll pick up Shane up. And we're gonna go do a little boat riding and try to do a little bit of fishing. The river's coming up, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be real muddy or not. But she hadn't been out in the boat with the new motor yet. And she hadn't even been out fishing in at least nine months. So we're about to see if we can do any luck today. We'll see you at the ramp. Alright, looks like we're the only ones here at the ramp. So <laughs> we don't have to wait on anybody. Which like I say, not too many people use this one. But like I say, this ditch here is pretty clear right now. But the river's rising and she's getting muddy, so we'll see how bad it is. Like I said, no ditch, she's kind of clear. Time to get on the boat. All right, so we're in the boat now. Make our way up to the house. I may go for just a little bit of boat ride before I get Shana. She may not be ready yet. But like I said, the no ditch here, water looks good. It's pretty nice out today. May catch some fish, I don't know. But we'll see. up to where the ditch runs into the river we'll see how muddy the river is which this is a swift ditch is what is up here see how the water is getting a little murkier it's kind of coming up in here like i said the river was pretty clear about a week ago but the rain caused muddy water to come down. Yep. We'll run up to a log jam up here and see if we can get past it.
jump onto that log jam. And it looks like it's got a boat stuck in it. Oh, John boat. There's only a few times you can actually get past this log jam when the water's up. Kind of looks like it's like a plastic or fiberglass, little John. Definitely just trash now. Pelican. All right, we got a bridge up here. Like I said, there's only been once I've made it this far because it's jam. We'll run up here just a little bit and we'll head to the house. Well, I didn't make it much past the bridge. I got a log jam here that I really don't feel like trying to go around. This tree laid across here. But we'll just turn around and head to the house. Here's this low bridge. Really Alright, I'm about back to the house. <laughs> Tie the boat up and uh, whenever Shane is ready, we'll come back out. So Shane and I, we're out on the boat now. Buying my fishing license. Yep, we just got out here. But, um, <laughs> well, we're gonna find us a spot to fish. It's out of the banks here quite a bit, so we're gonna drop a few jigs in and see if we can find anything. We'll see. If not, we'll run up to the old ditch and do some fishing there and see. Like I said, this is Shannon's first time in the boat with this motor. And in a boat in the past nine months. So. Yep, it's nice out. So, we'll run up just a hair further and then try to do some fishing. Alright, we're going to run in the house just for a little bit and then we're going to go try on number one ditch there. We both had a bite, but we didn't get it in the boat. But, like I said, the water's out of the banks quite a bit, so I'm not sure where all the water, or where all the fish are at in the water. I caught a tree really, really well. Yep. <laughs> So, we're going to make it into the house, and then we're going to head back out. Alright, we'll see ya. Alright, so we're back on the water now. We're going to go try a little bit fishing on number one. So, we'll see if we can catch anything. Fish for about an hour and a half or so. So, we're going to head up there now. we're going to try out here like I said this water is a lot clearer than the actual river so we're going to get going fishing maybe we can catch something alright we're back we're out here on the water and that's the eagle's nest that's here by the house I don't know if you can see it but the eagle is sitting in it it's a big nest Used to be in that tree over there, and then two years.
years ago it blew down and they rebuilt it in this tree. Part of living out here on the river. This is so cool. The eagle flew out of its nest, laying in a tree right over here. I don't know if you can see it, but he's right there. Well, the fishing isn't the best, but we do get to see some wildlife out here. There's a little squirrel just chilling here on this tree. He swam from right over here, I guess. Water's flooded up in here right now, so. Looks like he'd been wet swimming, so he's probably just cooling down. Uh, but we're about to just go for a boat ride now and then head back. So, all right, we'll see it. Right here's a gar underwater. I don't know if you can see it swimming. But... All right, so we're cruising. We're, got... we're going under this bridge. <laughs> Pretty low bridge here, right above our heads. Woo! Definitely won't come through here fast. <laughs> Mine that burnt down back in the fall. Yep. <laughs> Just out running ditches.
we're back to the low bridge here. She is close. This side here has the pipe hanging. Watch your head, Shanna. Woo, she's a close one. But we were in pretty far up the ditches. We turned around because it got extremely shallow. It was less than a foot deep. So and it was only getting shallower. So we turn around, we're heading back. I'm gonna drop Shana off at the house and then I'm gonna take and load the boat back up. She said it's chilly. I don't think it's too bad. Alright, we're back to the boat ramp. Shane decided to go ahead and help me load it up. So, we're going to get the boat all loaded and head to the house. Alright, we got the boat all loaded up. We had a pretty good time. We didn't have any fish getting the boat, but... Yeah, well. Asian carp tried to jump in it. Yep. So, we're seeing a lot of cool stuff today. Covered quite a few miles. Burn up some of that old gas. So, alright, we're going to head home. We'll see you next time.